My subject will be opposition and how can I create a good balance through opposition. And before we start to work on this subject, I'd like you to dance without partner, just alone, one waltz and one foxtrot, just to, to feel the floor a little. For me, opposition is very important, first of all, in the own body. And when I stand and just find my balance on, on the foot, and maybe you can join me, just stand on your foot. Now I want you, first of all, to feel a lot of pressure to the floor. Because for me, it's very important that we have a connection to the wood, to the floor. Try to also rise the spine. Yes, and so that you work in two directions already in your own body. In two directions, there's an energy inside my body. And then, of course, I can go into my posture, I can go at the end into my hold, and I try to have these opposite directions always in my body. If I only work up and I don't have the connection to the floor, you don't will feel the same good balance. So when you now rise, we say as an example, walls. I rise, but I work even stronger down to rise, and I don't work uh, when I rise more up. I work more down to rise, and that means I get a very good contact to the floor. The same in the opposite. I work up when I'm lowering. That feels maybe now, or that sounds strange, but for me it's a big help if I lower that I work in the opposite direction. I stretch. And I don't lower with my whole body without working in the opposite direction. So already now we have in the vertical line, we have a very strong work in the opposition. So when I, for example, do a natural turn in waltz, and I have the first step, I'm in this position, but I'm working up. And now I change, and when I close my feet, I work in the opposite direction, and I work down to feel the floor. And it's not that I work down and I come up, because then I can have a good swing, but I have no, not the same control. So when you close on three, you should feel a lot, a very strong feeling to the floor, to the floor. And this gives you the length you need then on the other side and to have a great presentation. So work in your own body, feel the energy is going down to the floor, feel the energy is working up as a counterbalance to the direction you actually move. Now we have uh, the same, or I have the same idea when I move forward or backwards. So when I start and move forward, I have the feeling that inside my body, when I start uh, walls, one, two, Three, that I still feel that my energy is going in the opposite direction and I work back to move forward. I move back to move forward. When I move to the side, I move in the opposite direction and through this work, in this direction, I close again and I have more control instead of just moving in one direction. So try again and feel the opposition also when you move. Feel the opposition when you move to control and to, to find also in this horizontal line the opposition. Try again. So we have the vertical opposition and we have the horizontal opposition.
Okay, so when we, are, uh, when we see now this movement and I move and I have the feeling I'm still standing on the spot where I started, then I have, a, a, I create a kind of volume which also all couples try to create in Latin. So when I, for example, do a Latin action and I do like a samba, a promenade run, it's also that I always work in this direction backwards to create a volume in my body and to create a, an energy in my body. And it's the same when I hear, I create an energy because I move down. I go into a promenade position. I do a chassis. I'm still standing there. It's not that I go only in this direction. For me, it looks a little bit empty, I would say. It looks a little bit empty when I just move in one direction. My old teachers, uh, Bill Irvin, for example, he said to me always, Horst, you have to dance forward like if you dance against the storm. There's a strong wind. There's a strong wind and I'm have to push myself against the wind. And that means that I create a resistance. And this resistance gives me another, a much better balance instead of just moving in one direction. So opposition in lowering, rising, and also how I move through the, uh, over the floor, uh, it always gives me a better balance if I have uh, this opposition also. When I watched you with your first dances, most of you started immediately with choreography. Why not with basic? Why not with basics? When we were dancing, okay, old time, long time ago, but when we had lessons or when we practiced with our teachers, over 50% of our practice was basics. When we went to Dusseldorf to have our lessons with, with our coach at that time, Wolfgang Opitz, we had three full hours and nearly two hours we did only basics. And he was never pleased with our basics and we had to practice and practice and practice. And we were also sometimes thinking, okay, now we have to go into our routines, we have to practice for competition. He said, not so important. It's more important that you have a good balance, that you have uh, control in your body. The choreography will work also then. And actually, he's right. I want you to have a good feeling. I want you to, to feel your own body, that you are aware about your energy, which you can create in your own body. And this is my subject, and this opposition is for me very important in this case. Okay. Your heart for all Position. If you rise, feel the floor. If you lower, stretch your spine. And work against the direction you move. I will be your lover. And I know. Position. Be there. And now I want to speak also about arms or the hold. Also here I work to bring my arms up, I work in the opposite direction. I feel that my shoulder line moves down to bring the arms up. So I'm not lifting my shoulders. I don't do this. I work completely in the opposite direction. And maybe you can see, can you just feel <laughs> when you are put here? It works in the opposite direction. It's not that I work, just hold. It's not like this. It's and I feel 
this point, move to the floor to bring the arms up. And it's not this, because, thank you, because now I'm too high. Maybe I can have a, a beautiful hold still, but it's here fixed, and I cannot breathe. I want you to breathe. I want that the arms are still in a soft position, and it's not fixed here. Okay, I have a big top line, but for me, at the end, I don't see a breathing action. I don't see that it's alive. It's just fixed and hard. And uh, when I come or when I think about musicality, that I want to see softness. I want to see that you are moving yourself beautiful in the music. For me, this is not possible. Of course, I can have a very good hold, but it's dead. So try again, bring your arms up, but feel again the energy is working down to bring the arms up. And you feel the balance again, the opposition work down to bring the arms up. And yes, this should give you a freedom. Or bring up and lift a little bit the shoulders or not work in the opposition. It feels like this, feels strange for me, yes? So work opposite direction. And now feel the floor again, move on the spot. And now you can rotate, now you can play. Feel the elbows always connected to the floor. Feel the elbows always connected to the floor. And if you rise, you feel even stronger pressure to the floor. And that makes, gives you a, a kind of balance, which gives you a kind of freedom. Okay, try again with some music alone. Just get this experience in your own body. Feel the opposition in the arms. Feel the floor and enjoy. And control through opposition. Work in the opposition. Stand together as a couple and try together now the same ideas. and feel, hopefully, a softness in the movement. The same in the opposite. I work up when I'm lowering. That feels maybe now, or that sounds strange, but for me, it's a big help if I lower, that I work in the opposite direction. I stretch. And I don't lower with my whole body without working in the opposite direction. Through opposition, control. Okay, just, just watch me. I will do now a chassis to the right as a man. One, two, and three, here. I have again the working into the opposition. I feel that the pressure goes more down than up. Now I spoke also about the direction. When I move backwards, I move forward. If, when I move forward, I move backwards. For the men now, if you have, for example, an outside change now, don't move one direction because you will have a big problem with, with your partner. So when you're in this position, Da, da, da. I move this direction, I move this direction, I move this direction, and I don't move only in one direction. I don't move only in this direction because my partner will have big problems. Can you all start with a chassis to the right, please? One, two, and stop. 
So first of all here, you are in a very high position, but you feel the pressure to the floor. Feel your body weight is going down to the floor. Now you're lowering and you stretch your spine. And one. And now from here, don't move backwards as men. Move inside your body forward. Good. And again, we'll go to me, to me, yes. Good. Stuck on you. I've got this feeling down deep in my soul that I just can't lose. Yes, I'm on my way. I bet you're warming up for a rock. Needed a friend. And the way I feel now. I guess I'll be with you till the end Guess I'm on my way Oh, it might be a little bit of a Foxtrot, for me, I say is a very oily dance. Oily means a very strong movement, again, also with a lot of opposition. And when I, for example, do a feather step in a th uh, reverse turn, I again feel this kind of opposition. It's not that I only want dance in one direction. It's one. Now when I go, I push in the opposite direction. I feel the pressure in this direction and not in this direction. From here, I feel the opposition. I go. I feel the opposition. And it's not the wrong way would look, uh, look a little bit like this. <laughs> then I, I'm only moving forward. I'm only moving backwards. I'm only moving forward. And for me, this looks again a little bit empty. So when I do the other way, And I work again in the opposition. I have the feeling that I can control much better. I can control also the, the rise action, the lowering action through the opposition. And just try again alone a little bit of foxtrot without music, maybe also some basics only, maybe only feather step, reverse turn, three step, and feel again the opposition in the vertical line and also when you move that you have the feeling against the wind, against uh, that you feel this resistance. Just try a little bit. Opposition. Okay, before we start with music, Martin, can you just come to me and you help me? So, can you start again with your feather step, please? And I will now put my hand on his chest for resistance. Five, six, seven, eight. And work against, work against. And continue, work, and work against my hand. Work against my weight. And again, work, and work. This feeling that he has to use his angle, that he has to use his feet. And this gives a kind of balance. Thank you very much. <laughs> Through this, you get a much better control. For me, also, you get a softer body. And you, can, you get a much better balance inside yourself. Oh, good. Is it good or is it not good for us? <laughs> Heavy and oily. Boom. I hope you 
could feel it a little bit also in Foxtrot. Now, one last dance for you. Just try together, please. Try together. Again, a little bit basic actions. Don't go into your routines. Just do it to feel your body, your own body, feel the body of your partner, feel the softness, feel the balance in the body, and work a lot in the opposite directions. when we had our lessons with Bill and Bobby Irvin, maybe 50% of our lessons, we just worked on the feather step, and when we had a very good day, we maybe could also, well, they allowed us to dance also maybe the reverse turn. But most of the time, when I started to dance with Bobby, there was something always wrong and she was always complaining and we are working so hard on these basic steps. But at the end, it worked very good. I learned a lot. I learned also a lot for my Latin dance uh, because also this idea with the wind, this uh, opposition resistance was for, for us very, very important and we use it also today in the Latin and also when I talk to the Latin couples, about the standing, about this creating an energy inside the body through opposition. That is a big secret how I can also present myself because now I have a posture. If I'm like this, I have no posture. When I go, go into my standard hold, you can see I work and that gives me a position where I can present the dance. And I hope you enjoyed now a little bit my ideas, maybe a little bit this crossover from Latin to ballroom. And thank you very much that you were here at 9.30. Enjoy the rest of the camp. Thank you very much. Thank you.